All right, guys. So we're here at our grass field, and as you can see, it's only 50% uh, fertilized, but that's okay. It's ready to harvest. So we need to go buy a mower and windrower and a tedder so we can cut and tether it up, make hay, and windrow it, and then we need a baler to bale it up. But first, we're going to run down and check out our cow pasture and see what it's about and purchase some cattle. So let's go check it out. All right, so we made it down to our cattle field here, and it's looking pretty nice. I like it. All right, so got a little bunker here. Um, don't oh this is just a road don't know where that's going probably to another field we'll look into that later but uh got a little storage shed here for our equipment if we have any here and uh let's just run around i've never been down here so we're gonna check it out i guess that's where the milk goes and here look at what is this all right so just run through here and feed them i guess what is that oh, okay I guess they hang out in here and come in here and eat. Chow down. What's all this out here for? Okay. More area. All right. Well, we just got to buy some cattle and see what happens. It's just all opened up here, which is weird. I guess we can actually come in here and cultivate this and make this a little field and grow some grass and such. Well, let's see what we can do here. All right, first we gotta go, and first we gotta save. All right, so first we need to uh, let's see here. Come down here where I'm at. Here I am. Let's see if we can. Get, yep, we gotta buy this property here. Don't have enough money. Great. All right. Well, when I come back, guys, I will have enough money to buy this property. <laughs> All right. So I was just going up in the loan borrowing money and it just kept going and the loan amount right now is at one million twenty five thousand dollars and look at that, it is still going <laughs> i think we got enough money we ain't going to use all that all right so first of all i gotta go back here we're going to purchase this piece of property here all right guys so we got our mowers and we're going to head to our field and begin mowing and i think by the time we get done mowing the store the gate to the uh dealership's going to be closed so i'm not going to get the rest of my stuff until in the morning but we can fast forward time i'm not going to run back and forth and get it right now so we'll run over here and start mowing down our grass field and uh getting ready for the cattle all right guys so we got this field mowed down it took a little bit but we got it mowed so now i need to run back to the shop and i'm going to drop this mower off at the barn here and then we're going to go pick up our tether and te uh, make hay out of it all and then we will get the wind rower and put it wind row so that way I can get the baler and bail it up y'all know what to do here y'all know what's going on so let's drop this off we also need to get some wheat in the ground too because we got to start our flour mill factory up and oh no 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 hit the wrong one all right there we go we got to uh, get some wheat in the ground so we can start our flour mill up soon. Get that going. And then, uh, yeah, we got, come on, get off of there. Got this started for our cheese. And what's the other one I want? Oh, we got to get some sunflower in the ground. We got to get our sunflower oil factory going, too. Those are the three main ones I want to do. So we'll get those started up first. And then. Eventually, we'll get into pellets and the uh, laminated, what is it, the board planks are, those things. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I don't know. Let's unfold this and turn all this over to make some uh, hay. It's all pretty wet right now, so we'll flip it over, dry it out, and then we'll windrow it and make some hay bales for them, for the cattle. So, we'll get this started. All right, guys, so it's now 5 45 in the evening sun's starting to go down but we have hey we've got this field mowed i missed a little bit right there but oh well we got it tethered and windrowed and we are ready to bale it up so and i do have to get a bale trailer i'm thinking i'm going to go ahead and do the auto load trailer i think that's what we're going to go with i'm not going to see here uh i don't know we'll see because i've never actually loaded them by you know 
manually by myself. So, I don't know, we may give it a shot. But I do want to hurry up and get this started and uh, get the uh, cows produce some milk. So that way we can get some cheese. Alright, so we will unfold this. We will lower that and we will pull up here and get started. Turn it on. And we are making hay bales. Alright. We are underway making bales. I know I've been skipping over a lot, guys, but sorry I'm at home. My family's at home, and I don't have my own room to, like, I don't have a room that I can go and create these videos in and be secluded from everybody else. It's just, I don't know, just don't have that option, which is a bummer. But, uh, so, you know, with all the noise and racket, I've just been kind of recording here and there and letting you guys know what I'm doing. But we're going to try this out and see how far I can make it Bill and hay recording. So. But I hope everyone is doing good. hope you all are staying safe wherever you are with all that's going on in the world at this present time. The coronavirus and all that. So hopefully you are staying safe and healthy. But uh, yeah, we're just sitting here bailing some hay, getting ready to feed some cows to make some milk. We'll get that cheese factory going. I'm excited. I love this new update that Shaba FS put out for this map. This map's already cool and amazing. That just that just changed it completely. Now we got all these separate factories. And uh, if you want a tour of all the factories, I want uh, you should go check out uh, Mr. Silly P. He did a pretty good, actually a phenomenal job touring out the uh, all the factories that are on this map. Showed you where they are, what they do, how you feed them, and how you make it all work so go check that out I'll try to put the description down or try to put the link in the description <laughs> listen to me but I'll try to remember to put that link in my description uh, go check it out if not just look up on YouTube Mr. Silly P he did a pretty amazing job at that so that's why I didn't go around doing it because I, I couldn't top that he did a good job but uh, we'll just I'll show you what they do as I get them going so that's how we're going to do it go around that power pole there but uh yeah, this this map is pretty amazing, so <clears throat> and also if you guys want some outstanding videos on all the farm sim news that comes out, uh and all the new mods and stuff, uh check out FS Club. I'll try to put his link in the description as well. FS Club does an amazing job at uh informing us on all the news and testing lists that comes out and that uh all the new mods he tries them out and shows us what they do he does an outstanding job so that's FS Club on YouTube and sorry guys if I do forget to put their links in the description because I am a pretty forgetful person so I will try not to forget though alright let's see here are we even making yeah we're making okay cool oh god There we go, we got it. We got it. Alright, let's go back in here. You guys, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Help me out as much as you can. And also turn on that notification bell so that way you are up to date on all the videos coming out. And like I was trying I was alluding to a little bit earlier, um, I do have a role play series that I'm playing on uh, Westbridge Hills right now. Uh, so be sure to go check that out, and I'm trying to make it as realistic as possible. I am on console, and this is a video game, <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to do my best at that. And uh, if it's something you are interested in, be sure to go check that out. Um, also doing a uh, let's see, we're doing this let's play series. I'm doing a live stream series as soon as I get my internet situation figured out. Uh, doing a live stream on Ningham Farms, and I'm doing a let's play on No Man's Land. So. Please be sure to check those out and subscribe so you know when these new videos are released, when they come out. It is very much appreciated. Alright. And I'm thinking about, I'm going to do uh, a new series as well on mods. Um, basically just the mods that I truly enjoy and that I like to use. I am going to go through and make videos on those mods and give shout outs to those modders and uh, 
let you guys know what I think of those mods. So I'll get that going as soon as I can. Uh, it's really hard to record at this time. I mean, it's been from the time of this video, like, I think it's been eight days, eight or nine days since I've loaded anything up on YouTube, which is not good, especially for someone starting out. You want to pump videos out, and you don't want to stop. And But uh, luckily, on the same hand as that, you know, I don't have a lot of subscribers right at this time, so the time of this video, so it's not like a lot of people really missed out on much. <laughs> but uh, just complicated times, and, you know, with the family and stuff like that, it's makes it difficult sometimes but I am trying my best guys and I will try to continue to put new content out as much as I can there we go you swing around and get that but with all that said I hope you guys are doing great I hope you guys are enjoying some farm sim 19 uh, I know I'm waiting on uh, oh why'd I turn that off I am waiting on Stone Valley to come out. They are making that map for console, and I believe it's in testing now, so that's exciting. It'll be out uh, here soon, so I can't wait for that. And uh, uh, Stone Valley and Sandy Bay. Sandy Bay is the other one I'm looking forward to. So those two maps are going to make it a lot of fun. Can't wait for those. But uh, the deal with my Internet, those. You know, when I'm streaming, it the video quality is just horrible. It's like the uh, the upload speed of my internet, but I have the PlayStation 4. It's on Wi-Fi right now, so if I get that hooked directly up to the uh, Ethernet cord and get it, you know, just directly hooked up to it, I think it should work a lot better. Cause I actually don't. I'm not sure how internet speeds go. I'm not like a whiz kid or with you know very technical smart when it comes to all that but uh, I can't even remember what the speed was I know when I went online to try to upgrade my internet service it wouldn't let me go any higher than what I was there was no option for it so I don't know I'll have to figure it out but we will get it worked out and I will start live streaming again soon and I think Stone Valley when it comes out will be the live stream map that I excuse me that I use all the time for live streams that that will be the map that I'm on when I live stream so y'all be on the lookout for all of that and let me know down in the comment section guys let me know what you think of the series that I am doing let me know uh, what y'all think about them uh, if you think I can improve somehow by all means put it down there let me know and uh, if there's some different content that you want to see let me know also, and I will try my best to get that out. So, I don't know why. I always kind of, some people don't like it, but I've, I kind of like bailing. Bailing to me is kind of uh, fun, relaxing, or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what it is about bailing that I actually enjoy, but I kind of enjoy it. Now, as far as, you know, having to ted get the tether out and tether it up, uh, flip it up and all that stuff. I don't know. That part kind of aggravates me a little bit. It's like, come on, I want to hurry and get this done. I think I like bailing so much just because that's almost the last thing that you have to do before it's, you know, done and you feed it to your cows or you wrap it up for silage and sell it, you know. I'm not sure. I just kind of like cruising around inside the tractor here and bailing it up. And this is actually one of the easiest things you can do in the end cab view like this because I mean heck just go right down the middle of it it's the only thing you gotta focus on and it's pretty fun I think I got all that yep sure did oh there's a bale in my way oh, not really we can get to it alright I think these are our last three rows of hey we need to wrap up or bail up I mean and I think we're done, and we'll get a trailer and load it up and haul it over to the cows. Hopefully we can get all that done before it gets dark. It is getting dark. <laughs> so hopefully I can get all this done before it gets dark. And this is the first day. Yeah, I'm still on the first day of this new new map that we just started up because of the factories. But uh, this is the first day, so 
I wish there was a day counter, even though we're not running seasons, like it showed you somewhere what day you're on, you know. So. I don't know. In this series, I think uh, this is the fifth episode. It's either the fourth or the fifth. I'm not 100% sure of the series on Law Cornella, but um, I'm thinking of making this one probably about 30 episodes. 25 to 30 episodes, and then oh, we'll move on to something else. There's just so many maps to choose from. Forgive me, my son's in the background there. But there's so many maps to choose from and so much to do. I mean, it's just hard to keep one going for so long. All right, let's see. Yeah, there's my son. We hear you, buddy. We hear you. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. There's a little bit right there we can get. What happened? And let's see if there's any on the other side that we need to get before we hightail it out of here. Here's some. There's actually quite a lot. Oh, this is where I couldn't reach with the tether and wind rower. We got it with the baler there. There you go. Let's go ahead and raise that up. All right, there's a little bit there we can get, but is there any in these trees? These trees made it kind of hard to see. Oh, that shade. It's actually harder to see that hay than you'd think it would be, but we got all that up. All right, so let's lower this down, turn it back on, pick this little bit up. Sorry, this is kind of my OCD kicking in a little bit here. <laughs> there was some more there. I don't know. All right, well, we'll just unload that. And... Fold that up, lift that up, let's go park this baler, and let's go pick up a trailer, and uh, does this have the front loader on it? I'm not sure if this is a front loader or not. Yep, alright, so we'll go find our front loading equipment and our front loader attachment, I mean. Okay guys, so we're here at the store, and this is what I got. I got the THHD flatbed, and I got the fifth wheel trailer bale trailer for it and it ha has the straps on this one so this one is uh actually most of you should probably know it most of you probably do know it but um this trailer is in baling technology and it is part of the uh fifth wheel pack i think so it's right there and um the only option it has is colors but here it is you don't have ramps for it and it does have the straps with it and you can just throw the bales right up on top of it and also I got this thing uh forget what it's called forgive me let's go check this out I tried to remember but like I said earlier I'm kind of forgetful the fork lizard with claws and um, it does have the option for a uh, front loader tele handler and a wheel loader so this is the front loader one of course oh wow I can actually pick that up hold on a minute how can I pick that up? There's some things you cannot pick up. I can't pick that up. Oh, well. That's crazy you can pick that up. That's pretty neat. All right. So we'll uh, go around here and attach that to this. There we go. Now, I bought this one. Um... Actually, I bought that one for the barn. I forgot to, I did not go buy the other one. So let's go in here real quick and buy this bale spike right here to load it up on the trailer. You know what? Let's change this one to John Deere, baby. Yeah. All right. So bought, sold, got it, mine. All right. So let's see here. This thing will not go on that trailer and be strapped down. This thing, how, can you pick this one up? What? Are you serious? You can't pick that up. You gotta be kidding me. All right, so let's let's try this out. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try it out, guys. Let's see. <laughs> let's see if this works. All right. All right. There we go. Oh God. It, okay. So what's crazy is you can pick this thing up. Oh, I don't know why I jumped. Okay. So. You let go of it and it just stands right up. Okay. Weird. And I don't think it straps down. No. 
but we're going to try it out anyway. Just because that's got to go to the barn, not to the field. So, let's lower this down. And I can't remember which way. There we go. Alright. Alright everybody, actually this is going to be the end of the episode today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that little notification bell so that way you're up to date on all the next videos that are upcoming. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy, and y'all be strong and be good. Until next time, see ya. Thank <laughs> you.